Hi, my name's Fred Arnold, and welcome to Out of the Rough. In these tough economic times, I want to provide you practical solutions to many of life's challenges. And today is no different. I got Terry Crane. Terry's the CEO of the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having and me. And we call this the Chamber Edition because we want to talk about the Chamber and bring businesses on board that could talk about ways that the consumer can get out of the rough through their business. And um, the, the Chamber, it's got some great products and some th things you're working on. Talk to me about the speaker series that you're, you're rolling out. Happy to, Fred. Uh, we're really proud of this. This is a, a brand new series that we're, we're bringing to the Santa Clarita Valley. And the goal of it is to introduce the Santa Clarita Valley to some of our state legislators. Uh, more and more often when we go to Sacramento and talk about the Santa Clarita Valley and the great things that we have here to offer, uh, our legislators that aren't familiar with the area go, oh, we didn't know you had that. So we're trying to bring state legislators down here and to give them space and an opportunity to present to different business owners. Uh, the premise of it is we invite a chamber member who has a large facility to host. If they have a specific passion, um, let's say you uh, own an aerospace company and your passion is education, so we'll invite the state superintendent of education down to speak to a group of about 100, 150 business owners. So it gives you know the business owners an opportunity to get face to face with these high ranking officials, and it gives the officials the opportunity to see what we have in the Santa Clarita Valley, and the chamber gets to show off how fantastic we are. You know, we're not just uh, near Magic Mountain. Mm -hmm. A lot of people describe us as that. Or North LA County, I mean a quarter million people, yeah. a chamber that's vibrant and strong and really fighting for its members and so the speaker series is perfect. So if you have a small business and you, or, or even a large business, you'd like to host one of these events, you can. Yes, if, you'd be a lot, uh, if you'd like to be a part of it, um, certainly you can attend. So yes. good stuff. Uh, let's talk about uh, hosting or sponsoring events. Okay. Um, Local businesses have the opportunity to, to host these events, yes. and that you, you need a facility to host it in, correct? Right. We need a facility or a warehouse space that you can hold about 100 to 150 people. Uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. Just has You just have to be proud of your, your location. Bring in chairs, tables, light snack, and we'll provide the people and the the legislator to come and talk. So Now one thing I want to do is I want to encourage those that, that do have issues um, with the state or, or federal government to bring them to the chamber because we have a lobbyist that can tackle those issues and, and maybe see if we, there's some traction we can get because one thing uh, that we're about is pro-business, right. helping you be successful. Right. Um, also you have a scholarship that you've recently formed for Ian Gielek who, yes. who passed away a year and a half, gave his life for our, for our country, who is from the Santa Clarita Valley. Yes. Tell us about the scholarship. Well, we have, um, it's the Sergeant Ian, Ian Gielig Memorial Scholarship uh, Fund, and we give out a series of $500 scholarships to returning veterans who are interested in continuing education. We're currently getting ready to award our first scholarship, so we're very proud of that. Um, and we're going to honor uh, different returning veterans at our quarterly luncheons or bi-monthly luncheons. Uh, so we're, yeah. Yeah, I, I love it because you want to make sure that um, those that come back feel proud yeah. of, of serving. Absolutely. And those that come back um, can have a little extra, a little extra money. Um, also, it's not just the veterans that can apply for the scholarship, their family can also apply. Family members, sons, daughters, uh, wives, mm -hmm. um, they all are welcome. Cousins. Immediate family uh, immediate members. Immediate family is members can apply for the scholarships. Uh, they, the stipulation is that they have to be a Santa Clarita resident um, and uh, attend school. Yeah, just Southern California. Southern school California. in Southern California or resident of Santa Clarita Valley. Right. Yeah, I love it. And then the last one was honoring the veterans. Uh, at our luncheons, right. we're going to honor veterans. Yes. Um, that come back. Um, right. You never know when you're going to make a difference in someone's life by just thanking them. Yes. And that's what the ultimate goal is of this. Uh, so thank you for all you've done. I know you've made a lot of changes since you've come on board and, uh, and it's been very positive, it's been vibrant, and that's what this community needed. So uh, from, from myself, a board member, I want to thank you and I know, I know there's so many that are proud of the changes you're making. So thank you very much. Thank you, Fred. We're going to jump to a quick break. And when we come back, i got Miles McNamara. Now everyone knows Miles with uh, Comfort Keepers in Home Care. We'll be right back.